Little Red Hen Built a Computer by Tiffany Ard. Little Red Hen Built a Computer, read by Mr. Tao. There once was a little red hen who lived on a farm. One fine morning, she found a USB cable on the ground. This gave her an idea. I am going to build a computer. First, I must give the computer a brain, said the little red hen. She asked her friends, who will help me set up the motherboard and put in a central processing unit? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the goat. Don't look at me, said the cat. I work in marketing. Then I will set up the motherboard all by myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Soon the motherboard was ready and it was time to add memory. The little red hen asked, who will help me install the rail? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the goat. I was just on my way to lunch, said the cat. Fine, said the little red hen. I will add the ram myself. And she did. Next, the computer needed a way to get energy to all of its parts. Who will help me connect the power supply? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the goat. Sorry, said the cat. I have a meeting this afternoon. And I will have to connect the power supply by myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Now everything inside the computer was almost ready. But it still needed a screen, a keyboard, a mouse, and a case. Who will help me find accessories? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the goat. I found a mouse in the barn this morning, said the cat. But I ate it. <laughs> then I will have to find it all myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Soon it was time to add storage and a user interface. Who will help me install an internal solid state hard drive, partition the drive, and set up the operating system? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the goat. I literally don't know what any of those words mean, said the cat. Then I will have to set it up by myself, said the little red hen. And she did. At last, everything was ready. Who will play games on my new computer, called the little red hen. I will, said the dog. I will, said the goat. Ooh, I'm going to play Minecraft, said the cat. Well, forget it, said the little red hen. You did not help me set up the motherboard. You did not help me insert the memory. You did not help me connect the power supply. You did not help me find accessories or a case. You did not help me install the operating system. Some friends, you have all been totally unsupported. Now I'm going to use my fancy new computer to play games by myself. And she did. The end. What's inside a computer? If you ever see anyone getting rid of an old computer, ask permission to open the case and look inside. It might look like a city from a science fiction movie. What is all that stuff? Here are the main things you'll find in any computer. The motherboard holds the thinking components. The hard drive stores information and programs. The power supply carries the right amount of electricity to everything else. The cooling fan pushes hot air out of the case and brings in colder air inside. Ports let you plug in things that you get information into and out of the computer's CPU and hard drive. Let's compare a computer's components to things inside your own body. The motherboard is like the head holding all of the parts related to thinking and doing stuff. The central processing unit, or CPU, acts as the brain. It performs calculations and carries out instructions. Just like a brain gets information from your senses, the CPU of a computer needs input signals from things like a keyboard or microphone. 
when your brain sends a signal to your muscles telling them to move so you can speak, dance, or breathe, that's like a computer's output. Your brain has short and long-term memory. A computer's RAM works like short-term memory and helps with things it is working on right now, while the hard drive is the computer's long-term memory, storing data for later. Thank you for listening.